Hi everyone, welcome to the History 132 Blackboard video tour. Uh, this is just a look at our Blackboard shell for this class to make sure you know where to find everything. And uh, I'm just going to go through you now some of the basics so that you are ready to get started pretty much right away. So as you can see when we come in at the announcements page, I haven't recorded the welcome video that you will see on the first day of class, but I did get the welcome announcement typed up. So when you come in, you'll see this on the very first day of class. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter student preview because as you've heard me say a couple of times, and you can see here, you have to mark some things reviewed in order to get access to your weekly lessons. So. After you've looked at this, the best place to go next is going to be course information. And in course information, you're going to find the My Instructor tab, and then you can see, look, it's me. And there's my office phone number, my Google Voice phone number, my email address, my office location. A lot of this is in the syllabus as well, um, which you may or may not have seen the syllabus video already. Remember, that is something you need to watch and mark reviewed. I've got the office hours links because uh, they're going to be virtual as well as by appointment for in-person office hour meetings. Talked about that a little bit in my syllabus tour video. Um, and then there's a note on here on masks. So we've got a mask mandate on campus for indoors. So if you do want to meet in my office or some other indoor location for an office hour appointment, we definitely both be wearing masks and we need to be wearing them over our nose and mouth. And if you want to be outdoors, if we have some distance between us, those masks are optional. And then, of course, if you join the Teams link and meet virtually, there is no mask required. Some students really like the virtual meetings because if you're asking me a question about something you're working on, uh, you can share your screen and show me what you've got so far. I've had students, um, when they're working on their projects, pop into virtual office hours and show me their presentation plan and all that kind of stuff, and I've given them some feedback on it. So that can be really helpful as well. And again, if you want to meet in person, all you have to do is send me an email and we'll set that up. And then there's just a little blurb about me. Okay, which by the way, I am loving Ted Lasso right now. I just got into it not too long ago. All right, so that is the instructor, uh, my instructor section. So then if you go in here to the syllabus and journal policies, you're going to see the things that I mentioned in that welcome announcement, right? Here's the syllabus. Here is the document, the actual digital document that you saw me going over in this video. And again, there's that mark review bubble that you'll have to push after you've reviewed everything in here. After you've gone over that, the Blackboard tour video, which I'm recording now, you'll see that video in here when you come in to watch this video. And there's a mark review button uh, right there. The My Materials Policy and FAQ Sheets, mark reviewed after reading. This is just, we have My Materials, which was formerly known as First Day Access which means if you've paid tuition, you've paid for your books. The links are in there, and I'll show you that in just a second. And you can just get right into things. So um, it's pretty neat. And uh, there's there's a document here that you can read if you have any uh, questions, if you're unfamiliar with this whole thing. And then, of course, once you read through all this stuff, if you have any questions, let me know. But once you read through this stuff, again, there's that mark review bubble. So, and then, let's see, then there's the course schedule. So... I'm going to open this for you and show you. Um, this is our course schedule for the semester. As you can see, I, I mentioned, I think, uh, in that syllabus video that I'm a major type A personality and very organized. So uh, it comes in handy for teaching because it means that this stuff is really organized. So here is every single week the same titles as what appears in the Blackboard shell, so everything matches up. And then here on the right side you see the assignments are due. Um, for each week and it tells you the time and date. Some things are due Friday, some things are due Sundays. And as we scroll through, you can see the entire semester is laid out here. So um, hopefully that's pretty straightforward. Of course, if you do have questions, let me know and I'm happy to um, provide any clarification that you need. So again, the entire semester is laid out there. So we come back over here, um, so that was there, and again, that's another thing you need to mark reviewed. So that's everything in course information, that's some good stuff to kind of get you aware of just nuts and bolts of everything that we're going to be doing. So if you click into weekly lessons, if you have not marked these things reviewed, this is all you're going to see. Okay, 
So you're going to see this uh, getting started folder and it's got um, some helpful information, just some things to think about when we read primary documents. Remember, primary sources are first-hand accounts. Writing tips, this is super important for when you write your papers and even when you write those engages, which are like discussion boards. We only have, I think, two of them on the uh, on pretzel, through pretzel this semester. So definitely make sure that you go through this. It will save you points. It will save you trouble. Um, it's got how to cite things for both a works cited page and for in-text citations. Here's a short guide on plagiarism and how to avoid it. Um, again, like I mentioned in the syllabus video, if you are not sure about what plagiarism is, after you read this, please feel free to contact me. And here's a short video on how to cite your sources. Um, again, this reinforces what's in that writing tips sheet, but this is for um, the uh, engages on pretzel and the other, uh, some of the other things, some of the pretzel activities you can cite using hashtags if you want, but this is just another option for um, citing sources. You'll definitely want to use this for the engages, like I said, because those are a little bit more formal. So that's the getting started section, and uh, there's a reminder that you need to mark everything reviewed because, look, we can only see the getting started and the books. So the cool thing about um, the first day access, or well, it's called My Materials now, is that you come in and you see I'm signed in, um, but you come in, it's going to prompt you to create an account and then boom you click in and look the books right here and you're already in you can start reading right away okay and the cool thing too is that if you're reading and you're logged in here and you go through blackboard look you can highlight you can take a note you can have it read to you so all that stuff's pretty cool and hopefully can be helpful all right so i'm going to turn student preview off to show you what the weekly lessons look like. And again, remember, you have to mark those things that I showed you reviewed in order to access these weekly lessons. Once you mark everything reviewed, you'll be able to see these two folders. After week three, everything will be open and available to you. Um, it, so if you mark everything reviewed, it opens up weeks one through eight. Weeks nine through 17 open up after week three. So you have to mark these review, the, the everything reviewed, the syllabus, the course calendar, the my materials information in the Blackboard tour video in order to access these two folders. So let me just show you exactly what it looks like in here. You can see the titles match up, the assignments are listed, everything matches the course schedule to kind of make sure that there's no, oh my gosh, I don't know what to do. So week one, if we go in, you'll see here's your icebreaker that you're going to do for the very first um, activity sort of just kind of get to know everybody this is through pretzel so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hit this i'm going to show you how it logs you in so it logs you in you go to the pretzel homepage. don't touch anything it just takes a second and then look it takes you right to our uh introduction introduction discussion board our video discussion board here through pretzel so it's gonna um take you right in so you know uh just wait and let it click you through. Uh, and then there's this very unflattering thumbnail of me for my uh, introductory video. So that's how you go in to Pretzel. Okay, let's see. And then week one lecture materials. So if you click in that folder, here's a note on everything. Uh, the lecture outlines and, and notes are links shared through OneDrive. This is an effort to take up less space on Blackboard, so we don't want to go over our storage as instructors, and courses have a lot of things in them, so I've turned all my documents into links to save some space. That means that it's really, really, really important that you download your own copy of a lecture outline or lecture notes before you make any changes, because if you start making changes, you'll make changes to the master copy, and then everybody's got your notes. Um, so definitely make sure that you download your own copy before you do anything. So I'm going to click on an outline, just kind of show you what happens. Ta-da! And these lecture outlines, uh, as I mentioned, they, you don't have to turn these in. They are optional. Everything on the um, exams is going to come from these keywords, though. So you're definitely going to want to maybe look at this and do something with it, maybe take some notes with it. Uh, that would be, you know, I would recommend it probably. So, but there's a little thing where you can download it. So there's Reconstruction the Meaning of Freedom, and this is the very first lecture outline. You do not have to turn these in. These are entirely optional. The other thing that I provide are my notes. 
This is the script from which I lecture. Some students like to um, highlight and take notes in the margins. Again, for this one, really important, you download a copy, okay? And so just make sure you're doing that. You're not taking notes directly in the document. You download your own copy first. So those are things that are just available for you to use. If you want to use them, they are entirely optional. They go along with these videos that are embedded in Blackboard. So all you have to do is... This is our okay, first look, lecture we talk about reconstruction. for week Ta -da. one. So that's all in there, and it goes along with everything else. So that is what every single lecture materials folder is going to look like. It's going to have the outline. Um, might have two outlines or two copies of notes if there's a part one and a part two. And it'll have any lecture videos that go along with that. So just make sure that you consult those each week because they are important. They go along with the readings. Uh, there are readings that are outside of the books as well. For example, this is the Constitution. You're going to read um, amendments 13, 14, and 15. That would be XIII, XIV, and XV um, if you are not familiar with Roman numerals. So those, that's an assignment that's just linked directly through here. And then our first pretzel assignment for a, like, for real grade that I'm actually going to really pay close attention to is the Engage on Reconstruction and Meaning of Freedom. This is due at the end of week one, as you see on the course schedule. So again, I'm not touching anything once I get to this home screen, and bam, I'm taken right in. And you can see there's a prompt, there are rules about word count and source use and due date is mentioned. You can use hashtags. Uh, you can upvote posts. Um, you need to make sure you react, which is responding to at least two people. And again, that's due Sunday night at 11 59 p.m. in that first week. And every week is like this. So um, let's skip down to week four. It's got lecture materials, it's got a video um, on the Momentum Race Ride that you'll need to watch. It's got a couple of uh, extra documents that go along with the Voices of Freedom documents that are listed. And there's another Engage, it just happens to be that week I just checked. So let me, speaking of uh, Voices of Freedom, I just want to show you what that looks like because some students get a little bit confused on the way that I list it in the course schedule. So if you look back at the course schedule, you'll see that it's, um, these, these, my friends, used to be pound signs before they were hashtags. So it's number 97, 98, uh, 99, 100. And so if you go in to Voices of Freedom and you click on this, the chapter titles match between Give Me Liberty and Voices of Freedom, there are all the numbers. So you're going to read um, these first, one, two, three, four, five. So if we go in here, there's... Um, there's always a short introduction by Eric Foner, and there's that little line break, and then here's the primary document. So when I ask you to use primary documents, what I mean is don't tell me what Eric Foner said about the document. Use the document um, as your source, right? Not Foner. And they've got some helpful, helpful discussion questions there. Kind of help you think about some stuff in there. So C96 matches with uh, number 96 right there on the course schedule. Okay, and that's it. Again, everything's in here. Um, I mean, I've got everything through the, through the entire semester, so it's all in here. And uh, the first half of the semester is open as soon as you mark those things reviewed. The second half opens after week three. This is just because some students don't stay. Some students get overwhelmed if they see everything right away um, because it's a lot of different folders. And so I just kind of, as you can see, according to my settings, it'll be available after September 3rd. Okay, I think that's pretty much everything, but you can see if there's a week that says, um, oh, Inquisitive, we can talk about that. So Inquisitive goes along with the book. Um, it's got, it's an activity that you do through the software. So again, you just click the link and it takes you right in. So you don't have to copy this link to anything else, you just go in through the course and, and it has everything for you. So this analyzing primary documents, for example, that's due, you make sure you click on analyzing primary documents and then you start it. Okay. Um, what was I going to show you? Oh yeah. So you can see that this, under week three, it says the study guide for the midterm exam is on Blackboard. And look, there it is. Um, it's available, I, I place it about a, a month out from the exam. 
so that you have plenty of time uh, to know what to do. And then, just like every other week, uh, lecture materials, there's an extra reading that goes with Give You Liberty and Voices of Freedom, there's an inquisitive, and here's a pretzel activity, this is a hot spot, so it's different from a uh, an engage or a discussion board style thing. And it's pictures! So there's a prompt that goes along with these uh, pictures that you simply, I, I already commented down here, you can see. Um, so you move the cursor right here, this, this hot pink thing, to wherever you want to, like which picture you want to comment on, and then you write your post following this prompt, and then you respond to a couple other people. So a couple of different ways to engage in history, try to make sure we have a few different things going on and it's not the same thing every single week, because that would probably get boring. All right, and I think that's it for the course itself. So if you go into JCC resources, there's student resources here, um, there's career services, Blackboard Orientation, the Veteran Center, so there's some things in here. Uh, in my JCC, you can see there's information about JOLT if you're having Blackboard issues, there's information about campus safety, links to WebAdvisor and 365, which is your email address, so there's all kinds of stuff in that resources tab that you might want to check out. And then and that's me doing a video for uh, something called QEP, so you can watch that video if you want. Um, and you can provide feedback if you want. Let's see. So if we go back in. So that's what it is. That's the course. Hopefully that's pretty straightforward. Of course, after you have watched these things and read all the orientation stuff and gone through everything, if you still have questions or something pops up and you feel like you don't quite understand what you're supposed to do with something, please feel free to reach out. I am here. That is what I am here for. I am here to support you in your learning and your success here in this course. So please do not hesitate to reach out if you need anything, have a concern, have an issue pop up personally that you need to let me know about, or are just struggling with something in the class. Welcome again to History 132. I'm excited to do this with y'all. Um, this is a really fun class. I really enjoy teaching it. And again, make sure you contact me if you have any questions.